hi everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to create this very subtle corally toned makeup look and this is a one brand makeup look using all l'oreal paris makeup products so if you want to know how i achieved this soft glam corally red sort of a makeup look then please do continue watching the contact lens that i'm wearing right here is from the brand called ttdi I'll put the details and link to the lens in the description box and also I have a special coupon code for you all to buy from their website so if you make a purchase then you can go ahead and use the coupon code right on the screen. So first thing first, I'm going to start off by cleansing my face using the Derma Vibe Hydra Cleanser. Then following it up using the Nutiderm Vitamin E Moisturizing Lotion and applying that all over the face, around the eyes and as well as on the neck area. My makeup tends to sit much much better whenever I use this moisturizer so I love to use this underneath my makeup. Then I'm going to take the L'Oreal Brow Artist Genius Kit in the shade Dark Brown. So this one has a wax and powder in it. So first I'm going to take the um, powder on the same angled brush that comes along with the kit to fill in my eyebrows. And then I'm going to use the wax to sort of set my brow hair in place. Then I'm going to take my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer and just apply that as a base on my eyelids and then I'm going to use my concealer blending brush to blend out the concealer and this has got incredible coverage in it so a little bit goes a long long way. For eyeshadow I'm using this La Petite palette from L'Oreal. This one is more of a corally red toned palette so I'm picking up that um, matte orange shade on a blending brush and applying that all over the crease as a transition. Then I'm going to take the more plummier shade from the palette and just applying that to the outer corners of my eyes and then once I've laid down the color I'm just trying to blend the edges of the eyeshadow. I must say I'm not that impressed by these eyeshadows. They are not that pigmented or that easy to work on the eyelids. They are just um, okayish sort of an eyeshadow palette. Then I'm going to pick up the pale yellow gold shade and just apply that on the inner corners of my eyes. And here you can see how um, under pigmented this eyeshadow is. Then I'm going to take the pinky rosy shimmer eyeshadow and just apply that right on the centers of the eyelids. Moving on to the face, I'm taking the L'Oreal Infallible Lasting Primer and just applying that um, on the main areas of my face and then blending it out using my fingertips. This is a very very good oil controlling matte primer, especially if you have very oily skin types, you will really like this. It's a very very good primer to make your makeup last for really really long. Then I'm taking the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in the shade Hazelnut. This is also one of my favorite foundations in my collection and this is a beautiful foundation. It has got medium to full coverage so you can just customize the coverage according to your liking. So I'm just applying that all over the face using a damp beauty blender. Then I'm using the Infallible Concealer once again underneath my eyes to conceal and brighten the under eyes. And you can see the difference here how much of a coverage this concealer has with just tiny bit of the concealer on the under eyes. So I'm just trying to blend out the concealer properly. To set everything I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte pressed powder this is in the shade golden beige i'm just using a very light layer of the powder to set my base makeup in place since the foundation is also sort of like a satin matte finish i don't want to cake up my face using a compact powder so just a light layer of the powder all over the face for eyeliner i'm taking the um, flash cat eyeliner from l'oreal this is a pen type eyeliner 
I love this eyeliner personally. It's a very, very good and convenient product to create a winged eyeliner. So I'm just using that to um, line my eyes. I'm sort of creating the liner thicker at the outer corners, no wing or anything. Then I'm taking the more plummy shade on the pencil brush and just smoking out and defining my lower lash line. I'm also taking the same eyeshadow on an angled brush and sort of creating this smoked out um, outer corners on my eyeliner. Not doing it all the way to the end, just keeping it on the outer corners to create that faded out, smoked out liner effect. For mascara, again, this is one of my most favorite mascaras from L'Oreal. Um, so this is the Superstar Fall Slash Mascara and this has got two ends. First, I'm taking the primer side, which is like a white uh, mascara with lots of fibers in it. So it just gets stuck on your eyelashes, creating this illusion of volumized lashes. And then I go ahead with the regular side, um, which is a regular black mascara and just coat it on top of the primer. And this just almost gives you false lash effect. I'm not even kidding. The result is unbelievable. I just love this mascara. For blusher, I'm taking the L'Oreal City Explorer blusher. This is a blusher with a lot of shimmer particles in it, but I really like the effect of it. I generally do not like shimmery blushes, but this is very, very gorgeous. So yeah. For highlighter, I'm taking the uh, True Match Lumi highlighter and I'm just applying that to the tops of the cheekbones and on the regular areas of the face that I like to highlight such as the bridge of the nose, the cupid's bow, the inner corners of the eyes, the chin, um, you guys know the drill. So this is a very very subtle and soft pale gold highlighter and just adds a beautiful glow to the face. For lipstick, I'm using the L'Oreal um, Matte Lipstick in the shade Sleek Dominance. This is like a beautiful corally red shade, very unique sort of a color. So I'm just applying that all over the lips. And against my dusky complexion, it looked very, very pretty. To set everything in place, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray, one of my favorites. Again, I love this setting spray. It just keeps my makeup intact and nothing budges throughout the day. So here is the finished result using all L'Oreal makeup products. It's a very beautiful, soft, um, rosy-ish look. And yeah, this is the one brand makeup look using all L'Oreal makeup products. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. All the products used in this video will be listed in the description box. This is it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up, comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Make sure to hit the bell icon to get notified each time I upload a video on my channel. And I shall see you guys soon in my next one. Bye.